So, you all came here for some Pokemon Bales? How about we start things off with a shiny house not to? Fan freaking fantastic. I may have one already, but not gonna complain. Now I have no guilt in just evolving the set. Or evolving one to have an Axe and a not to. I honestly was on the fence of if I was gonna be recording Go Battle League tonight. Or just do my set on my own, but <laughs> this kind of pushed me to get into the commentary of it all. No oh, apologies, I guess the tiredness of me still showing to some degree. Eh, not that green I beast, but at least it's something. Ah, uh, BRB, I might as well catch this guy, gal, before we move onwards. But man, if that shiny luck rules me out of getting the Hardy had Eevee as a shiny, I might be a little bummed because I was really looking forward to getting that shiny. Oh well, can't complain. RNG is tails? Ugh. Oh well, can't complain. RNG got his gifts and RNG got his takes. Speaking of which, I've been getting a lot better with Master League, but I don't still, I don't trust my luck quite yet. It'll be more fun to actually try to shoot for the challenge of the good Pokemon that we want, but just will end up being a Unova starter. Going like this. Hold on, hold on, hold the phone. I definitely promised <laughs> that I'd be getting rid of those earrings before going on to another set. Uh, much better. So, I have actually been on the fence all night about whether to use this team again, or go back to my old team. Because I really miss using Kumatora. But I was having so much fun with this team. And I think what I ultimately decided to do is um, both. I'm just... Pardon the noise. I'm not gonna do something really strange and just swap out the Kyogre with Hoopla. And as you can see, I'm on the fence of using Iron King. My perfect IV Metagross in replacement of Machamp anyways. Machamp was... I've been looking for a good Machamp substitute for a while. And I think leaning with Metagross will allow me to save my Kumatora for later on in the fight. As I mentioned in the last set, my biggest issue with Kumatora being in the lead was I was wasting it too early on. Like. If the Pokemon had like a, or should I say the trainer had a Giratina hiding in the back, Kumatora was my main option and they'd be gone. But I like having Kumatora out front to counteract Togekiss who's been a really popular lead as of late. So I think this is a good compromise like leading with my Metagross will catch any Togekiss that come in. But I still have Kumatora. And we'll see how Gyarados works. In theory, it should be okay because it's a water type. But it also gives me extra coverage against the Garatino between Dragon Breath and Crunch. But Kyogre is a real bulky boy, gal. How do you want to describe it and all? So. Cross my fingers that this leads to a good time. And it is a Garatina lead. Which means I'm unfortunately giving up the Switch fans real early on. And I'm just gonna go into Kumatoro. If he has another counter, we'll find out about it very early on. If not, and I just end up wasting it. I still have Gyarados sitting in the back, so there's... Worst case scenario, it's all gonna be okay. Alright, if I can bait one of these shields, then... <laughs> going for the Wild Charge will be well worth it. I don't know, it just feels like people are very 50-50 when it comes to blocking though. But thankfully I was actually able to get the block and ouch! Where did all that damage come so quickly? I might regret it, but I really don't really want to at least get one more attack off before Kumatora goes down. Let's see, hopefully you won't block this- oh man. I guess it was okay that they blocked it anyways, because I messed up the timing for that attack really, really badly. I don't want to waste my last shield, but I am so close to the Shadow Ball and I don't think I've survived the ominous win. 
Time to test to see just how good Hoopla is as a Garatina counter, though. All the shields are down, Dragon Breath is like blasting through this guy really fast. It might have no ancient powers on the Ultra Form set, not the Origin Form. I'm not sure if I, actually, I do have Earthquake on my Metagross, so this may not actually be a bad play after all. I won't block, the worst he can do is Super Power, and my Tight Beams cancel that out. Yeah, Metagross is not afraid of a Rock Slide whatsoever, and that m oh, frick, that might give me an advantage. Is he really gonna go for a second Rock Slide? There's no way he's going- yeah, I kinda have a feeling that was gonna be the case. Now I feel bad wasting the energy charge up for an Earthquake, cause he's doing less than me, I'm gonna take less damage, and I'm gonna do more damage back, and see, that was a not very effective hit, and I almost took out this guy completely. Uh, probably gonna regret wasting the shield, but I'm way too low on health. Actually, this metal girl's- is metal metal low enough that I could just farm it? Um, I better not risk it. I. The energy that I got off before doing this charge attack is still energy that I got. But this way I can ensure that it's not gonna get one more charge attack and I have all that energy go to waste. So yeah, I got Giratina out on here again. At least I can get one meteor match before going down. Just realized this comes down to my last Pokemon. Which is... Not what I wanted to see, to be perfectly honest. But actually, if I can get up to a Hydro Pump before going down, I can still pull this off. Okay, um, we're really testing the limits of how powerful Hydro Pump is. <sighs> Man, I really screwed that up, but I did just have barely enough to get the excellent off. Uh, that was way closer than that battle had any right to be. I'm quite not sure. I how badly he misplayed it, but I feel like there was some major dis misplay in there somewhere. I think the big problem was I should have gone to Hoopla against the Giratina instead of Kumatora, because then I would have had a much healthier Kumatora to take on the Togekiss at the end, and that would have been a much more comfortable victory. Hopefully we can apply that into the next battle going forward. So how's everyone's Pokemon Day going? I think Pokemon Day was a couple days ago at this point, but there's still that event going on Pokemon Go. Grand, there's no way this is going to go up before Pokemon Day is over, but I've been enjoying it alright. I unfortunately haven't had too many opportunities to actually go and do the raids. Apparently Metagross is a major counter to this situation, and actually did I just freeze it up? I, I just... No, I was just too slow on the attack. Do I waste a shield? No. I'm gonna call a bluff and... If this not be... An earthquake... That still is a lot of damage to take. I just realized that my Gyarados is actually a good counter to Metagross. If all is according to fear, because I got the crunch, the super effective damage, I resist the earthquake, I'm pretty sure I resist the meteor match, but never take... Meteor Mash for granted, even if you resist it. That's one thing I've learned actually using Metagross myself. Still, I think I don't want to waste a shield when I possibly have this advantage, so we'll see just how much that does. Yeah, that was a resisted attack that did over half, about half my health. So, I think I still made the right play, but we'll just have to see. Anyways, yeah, I haven't had too much luck with the rating things. I think I was my salt kind of indicated when I first did the first set, or record the first set, I should say. So now I have a Kyogre versus we're having the we're having a Gyarados versus a Kyogre, which I'm okay with going down this because I have Kumatora sitting in the back still, and Kumatora will eat a Gyarados for breakfast. But Gyarados seems to be doing pretty fine in this matchup, all on his own. It's just nuts. I'm not gonna shield even though the energy's gonna go to waste, cause... Man, I have a huge advantage <laughs> right now. I'm, I have a 
Ki I have a Raikou that's probably gonna just farm off this Ki Kyogre. And I'm pretty sure my Metagross is still healthy, and I have two shields left over still. A lot of things are going to my advantage. Oh yeah, his Metagross was almost down. So, mm, this is a tough call. I think Wild Charge does more damage in this situation. But honestly, things are still looking pretty good. Because man, yeah, look at that Wild Charge damage. And I think Metagross would like be re at least resist the Dragon Press. And still get nice damage off with Meteor Mash. So, like, this team's actually working out pretty well. I should probably start shielding, because, like, at this point, if I lose now, I only have myself to blame. I mean, sure, the Dragon Claw was predictable, but Kumatora was getting a bit low on health when I look back, so, like, that was probably the best play, especially with how huge of a shield advantage I have. Man, wow, this team's actually working really, really good. Just this mishmash of my two previous teams. It's just taking things by water. I'm just impressed of how little I'm missing Kyogre. It's a little sad because I, after the first video, if I didn't mention already, I invested a lot of Stardust and candy. Way more of my rare candy than I would have liked to max out that shiny Kyogre, even though I had no more normal Kyogre. That was pretty good on health, or a bit better in IVs. I stuck with the Shiny Kyogre because it was technically a little bit cheaper in Stardust, because it already had the second move. I think the one downside with this is, like, I'm a little bit of a tricky situation if I catch... Dang it, I learned nothing. I told myself that I need to go into... Gyarados and not Kumatora for this particular encounter. And yet here we are <laughs> seeing the same situations before. And it's probably actually gonna go more rough for me than the last time, because I just noticed that this Giratina has a best bunny ribbon. Now that's not guaranteeing that it's best buddies. I have done battles with Kumatora that are not that I'm not best buddies with. But it is something to keep in mind. Alright, oh. That was actually a fairly good play, because I was just going into Wild Charge right away for baiting. But, eh, actually, Shadow Ball would have done more damage. Okay, if I. At least I can get one more Wild Charge off before I go down. And at least this way, I still have. Gyarados in the back to take care of. That freaking Giratina later on. For now, though, Iron King, it is your time to shine. I probably don't even need to pull out the Earthquake because it's so low on health. Let's get Draco Meteor, Iron Head. I don't think there's really anything that this Dialga has that can threaten. Oh, Thunder! Duh! But at least now, next time we can shield with no regret. I'm. Um, this is. <sighs> I was gonna say, this greed's probably gonna bite me in the butt, and <laughs> considering how little health I have left. I probably won't even be able to use up all the energy that I just gained. So that was honestly a very bad play on my part. Wow, that was a super bad play! Like, I didn't even get a chance to do a Meteor Mash! And I was hitting that Meteor Mash button right away! Holy cow! I can't even blame my team for that one, because I only have myself to blame for just how terrible that matchup went, like... My only hope is that I can bait the last shield for Crunch, and still have enough energy to get to a second Crunch, and that somehow be enough to defeat the Togekiss. And even then, I still have one more Pokemon to face, yeah. At least I can count exactly what went wrong in this fight. One... I got way too greedy with my farming. Two, I made the same exact mistake as that first match, except this time it actually cost me. <laughs> Somehow I pulled a miraculous BS that first time, but eh, it's not here to save my hide both times. Alright, so what have we learned, Jacket Kate? If they have a Giratina lead, go into Gyarados, don't use your secret weapon right away, 
just so it can get countered. Mmm, Snorlax. I haven't quite figured out what I want to do with Snorlax. Because Lick does eat away at me fairly quick, but I, in theory, would resist a lot of his other attacks. Snorlax can get... Earthquake, honestly, but like... It's one of those moves that take so long to charge up to. I'm a little bit iffy about it. I'm, I don't like the fact that he just, like... Didn't take any damage from that shield. And yeah, I am kind of giving the advantage, switch advantage by doing that. But if Kyogre's the best thing that he's got against Gyarados, and if the last time we were in a Kyogre vs. Gyarados matchup led to anything good, this could work out for me. There's a chance that he has Thunder. I'm gonna shield just in case. Good dang it. I should have trust my gut and not second guess myself. Okay, he seems to be really want to hold on to his shield, so if I can get this crunch off without him blocking... Yeah, of course. That would have been great for me if I gotta be honest. Okay, I'm definitely not wasting my last shield on this. If he goes for the surf again, I should be able to survive it. And... I mean, you're really tempted to farm up to the dragon breath. And I only tried... Dang it, I only tried, because I learned, because I was so close to doom anyways that I wouldn't have been able to get that crunch off. Okay, this is actually a bad situation for me, because Gyarados is like the one thing I had for ground types like Groudon here. So my best hope is that I can like get enough damage off. To not die horribly. Okay, wait, so the, is the Snorlax attacking me or is the Groudon attacking me? I better. Frick, I should better. I was gonna say I should better. I should shield just in case. But that actually worked out to my advantage. <laughs> because of Body Slam. Grand, like, this Body Slam slamming is not good for me. Now, I should. Well, I guess it's a good thing I went for that attack anyways, because I was just about to go down. But I was more so just afraid of another body slam before I could really do anything. So I'm down to one Pokemon, but oh, it's the Groudon though, isn't it? I do have Shadow Ball. I'm about to get knocked out. I'm about to get knocked out. I should really like let him take me out. Oh, man, this is gonna... We know shields, it's going to come down to whoever can get to their attack first. Which is unfortunate, because that Groudon got to his attack first. Good dang it. Yes. This team has such a strong lead. And then I just had to screw things up. So yeah, we're not getting the wild Pokemon out of this spawn. At least I'm getting slowly getting the charge teams back to make up for the ones that I spent. Let's just see if I can get the rare candy out of this. I'm a little bummed, like with how strong of a start we had. I was certain that this would be the time that I got another Dino or Litwick. But you win some, you lose some. Okay, so I've learned that Dragonites do not like this matchup, so. No need to fear, it'll probably switch out right away into Extra Drill, which I can bring Gyarados into and counter fairly well. I mean, it's not the best counter because I have Dragon Breath. Oh, my opponent did not like that at all. That Honestly, that was actually anticlimactic. I was worried that Dragon Breath being resisted by the Extra Drill might be an issue, but he certainly disagreed with that possibility. So at least I get the rare candy out of that set, but man, so close to getting the four wins. But I have learned a couple things from the set battle, so maybe next time we can actually pull something off. And oh wow, I actually did have enough stacked up for another set of battles. You know what? We'll end this one off here, but I think I will record this next set too. I got a good feeling. I'm even half tempted to take a gamble with the premium rewards. But we'll just see how that goes next time. Take care.